Hi, Violet. How you doing this morning? Hi, Darla. Happy hump day. <laughs> How you doing? I'm trying to get this. Let's see. I think I just need to move my camera over some. There we go. I'm going to go back this way. Nope. No, I need to move it over the other way. <laughs> Hang on, guys. got to set it up here. There we go. That looks pretty good. Hiya, Sammy. Happy hump day. Hi, Kat, Ashley. Hi, Laura. Hi, Siren. Yeah, it has been a while. Welcome back. Yellow Sun. Good to have you. I'm glad you could make a live. Hi, Painty Girl. Hiya. <laughs> I had a weird summer, but now school is back. Okay. How'd you do on your last classes? Siren, did you do good? Did you do well? <laughs> Hi, Prisma. <laughs> Hi, Janice. Diane. Let's see, Melinda. You did pretty good. Okay. Well, if you pass and you're going to the next next uh, uh, quarter or whatever, um, <laughs> I guess you're okay. <laughs> Hi, Kimberly. How you doing? Kimberly, that pocket you sent Janet was so cute. That was so cute. Hi, Joey. Nanette, can y'all hear me okay? I don't want to be too loud, but hope y'all can hear me okay. Hi, faithful girl. <laughs> happy hump day. Yep, happy hump day. <laughs> Oh, uh, Joey, Ashley. So I thought I would show how, although I've already done one piece in here, I'm going to do a few pages so you can see how I start um, a, a fresh book, a new book. And then I thought we could do some sketching, maybe, I don't know, some pen, some ballpoint pen sketches in the sketchbook, because this isn't going to take two hours, three hours, you know. I mean, I could. I could take all day, but you're not going to want to see me just painting out backgrounds for three hours. So, <laughs> so I thought I'd work a little bit in this, and then we could do some sketching with some pen and ink sketches. Hi, Janet. I want Janet to do more drawing videos. She needs to do more drawing. She needs to do more drawing videos and stop listening to Eileen. Just kidding, Eileen. <laughs> oh, Kathy, let's see. Um, oh, no, no, I didn't even get that lemu emu. I didn't even get that for the longest time. Hi, Debbie. Let's see. Who else am I missing? Mitz, Jeanette, Jeanette, Ray. Let's see. I'm trying to just say Louise. You're going too good. Good. Don't tell Eileen. <laughs> We're so bad. Uh, <laughs> you can't not listen to her because she scares you. <laughs> Be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> Oh my gosh, too funny. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Hope you can hear me. I got my juice here. Get my voice going. 
I hope today we'll have um, no glitches or, or Monday there was a lot of glitches on mine, Janet's, on other people. So I don't know if they're working on some server somewhere, um, YouTube working on some stuff, but it was it was kind of janky on Monday. <clears throat> Hi, Debbie the Doodler. Kathy, I see I'm, I'm no I'm missing people. So if you're here for the first time or had you know don't don't know, I'm Dee Dee. Um, I stream every Monday and Wednesday. This is coffee and art in the morning, although I usually drink juice to keep my voice going first thing. But um, <laughs> I stream every more uh, every Monday and Wednesday at 9 a.m. But I usually come on about 8:30 or so. 8.45 to say good morning to everybody and do a little chit chat. So if you don't like the chit chat, just do the little slider bar. <laughs> it's a day off for you, Nat Nanette. Oh, good. Well, welcome. <clears throat> okay, Ray. Yeah, Ray. Hi, Ann. Let's see who else am I missing here? Bootsy. Oh, Bootsy. What a cute name. Uh, <laughs> not new, but it's been a while. Bootsy. Oh, I just like saying that. Bootsy. Just like I like saying um, BDI Beth. And there's a few names I just like saying. Hi, Ian. In space, no one can hear you enabling. <laughs> Good one, Ian. In space, no one can hear you enabling. That has to go in the that has to go in the wing that book. In space. No one can hear you enabling. Enabling. That um Hubster got, I think I told you, and I want him to do a review on it. He got a uh, he got the new making of alien big coffee table book for my daughter. <clears throat> and uh he he read it. We well, he read it and read parts of it out loud to me. So it was really interesting. So let's put Ian in the wingnut book here. See, this is a wingnut book. Anytime somebody says anything quippy or cute or, you know, anything like that, it just goes in the wingnut book. Anywhere. Just goes in there anywhere. We've been saying quotes for, um, I don't know, years. Because, you know, we're just all a bunch of wingnuts. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I have to tell you this. I told this to Janet. Let me see if I can take a picture of it. I'll show you. So I went to Hobby Lobby because, you know, they have all these clearance sales. And I didn't get a lot of other stuff, but their posters. Remember, I got that big poster. It's under here somewhere. That big poster of um, the phone dial. Well, yesterday, was it yesterday or was it Monday? Anyway, <laughs> I went to Hobby Lobby. I think it was Monday. Let's see. Um, let me take a picture from here where I'm sitting. Okay, so I'm just going to take a picture from where I'm sitting. And uh, <laughs> and anyway, so uh, I they had the, they had a great Mona Lisa poster. You know, Mona Lisa's my muse, and they had a huge one. And I said, "Oh, that's awesome! I'm going to get that and put it on the because I don't have any really wall space." I have a couple posters taped to the closet and, you know, but I, all my walls are covered with shelves. So <laughs> I said, I'll tape it to the back of my door, the back of my, you know, room door. And so I was sitting here working for about two hours. <laughs> I was sitting here working for about two hours. And all of a sudden I look up, I look up and I go, somebody's at my door. <laughs> I went, oh my gosh, somebody's, and it, my heart jumped, because it was, it's big, it's a full size, I mean, it's a life-size Mona, it's a life-size, and I jumped, I went, oh my gosh, <laughs> I go, I'm going to have to take that down, because <laughs> I thought, I thought somebody was standing there, I'm not used to having a face there, right, so anyway, <laughs> Uh, happy hump day, Nancy. <laughs> right? 
I know. It, I know. It would be. <laughs> yeah, she's, I don't care if she has her eye on me. Just not at the door. <laughs> right. So anyway, it was a uh, high CBC. Let's see. I'm no, I'm missing Dusty. Yeah, she, and Janet goes, put it on the back of your hubs, hubster's bathroom door. So when he closes the door, it looks like says, I'm not gonna do that, Janet. She's so funny. She's so bad. She's so mean. <laughs> Hi, Jersey. <laughs> And so, yeah, because I wasn't expecting it. You know, I just looked up and there was a person standing there. <laughs> but anyway, let's see. I said hi to Christy, Kat. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, yeah. If you want to if you want to put something on the back of your door, um, don't don't have it be a monk. Because look how big. I mean, it's covering half the door, right? You know? <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> get one for your i don't have a basement i don't have a basement prisma <laughs> i don't have a basement <laughs> So, hi, yeah, so there's Bootsy saying hi again to Laura. Let's see. Sherry, uh, Petals and Petals and Dream. What a cute name. Oh, my gosh. Do I follow you, Petals and Dream? Do you have a YouTube? Do you do videos? I'll have to go look. Hi, Zeely. Did I think it was the dishwasher thief? Oh, no. <laughs> what a, I just look up and there's a face, you know. I didn't really think about who it was. You know, <laughs> get a basement. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. So what I'm gonna do today, we can go ahead and get started. I, I said, uh, and thanks guys for the thumbs up already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I start a new book from scratch, you know, from the beginning, although I have done one thing in this book. When October gets here, you're gonna do he told me, yes, I this will be. I think this will be my sixth year, Janet. Is this our sixth year? Five or six. I, it's either five or six. It'll either be my fifth or sixth year. I'm trying to think. Did the undersea, did the cats last year. I did the kanji. I did the, there was another one I did. Oh, I did the uh, haunt, the uh, creepy, creepy one. I think this will be the fifth year. I think this is year five that I've done it every year, every, every, for completed it. It'll be my fifth year that I'll hopefully, you know, complete it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fifth. Yeah. So I've done, I've done it four years in a row, completed it. So yes, I do plan. Do I know what I'm going to do yet? No, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Okay. So, um, let's see. It's your fourth. Okay. So it's gotta be my fifth. No, I'm not going to do an emu in October. You, that would, you would trust me. Prisma, have you tried to draw 31 emus? I did my cats. Isn't that enough? <laughs> I did 31 cats with my cats. And costume. If y'all want to see it, go on my, uh, go on my uh, Instagram last year. And I did my cats. Let me, let me go over there real quick. Let's see if I'll show you a couple. Um, <clears throat> um, let's see. Let me go through here. Hang on. Oh, let's see. Let's scroll back a year here. Okay, here we go. So, yeah. Oh, and I also do a pumpkin every year. Here's my pumpkin from last year. I do a collage pumpkin. So there's my pumpkin from last year. Yeah. Multiple sides there. Um, okay. So I'm just going to kind of scroll down so you can kind of see. They all had themes. Like there's Catnocchio. You, you can't see them very well here because I can't zoom in. I have uh, autofocus off. So there's, um, you know, Bat Cat and Cat, cat Woman Cat. <laughs> and I use my cats. So they're all my cats. I did 31 of them. I was born under a wandering star. 
Let's see, there's some things in between. There's um, Little Red Riding Hood. And there's Cat Nightmare. <laughs> so you gotta go. You just gotta go uh, look at them all. Um, you turn yourself around. You do the Pokey Pokey. So did the Hokey Pokey with uh, Gumby and Pokey. <laughs> um, okay, there's Princess Mally. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I should do a fake pumpkin so I could keep it, right? There's the gothic pedigree. And that's Malibu and Oliver. So I, I use my cats. I use my cats for all of it. There's Popeye and olive oil. There's um, Oliver scissor hands. Or no, Oliver scissor paws. Oliver scissor paws. Yeah, I, I really, I, I think it looks kind of like Johnny. Dun, dun, okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> there's the Wizard of Oz. So, yeah, I did 31. There. In between, there's other things, too. There's a mummy. And, it, and I called it Cats and Calligraphy. Because what I did, like, here, look. Here's Mally, Mally Boo Mummy. So she was a, she's dressed up like a mummy. So I called it Cats and Calligraphy. Um, Bride of Franken Cat. Um, <laughs> let's see. There's Count Cat Eula. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Siren. Um, yeah, I, the, the problem with doing a fake pumpkin two things. One, after it's over, I, I don't have any place, to, I, I have to store it somewhere. I don't, you know, I, don't, I got enough stuff around. You just see this room. There's no place to put anything. And uh, so, or maybe I shouldn't do pumpkins. Maybe I should just go ahead and do more masks. Um, yeah, but I can't do 31 of Bob Ross, Prisma. I have to do 31. You have to remember. Where's my masks here? Uh, I got to do 31 of them. There's Let's see, that's one I did last year. I haven't even, I haven't even varnished that one. Where's my other one? Um, here they are. And here's two that I have varnished. So this is a half mask. Mm -hmm. So these are my collage masks. Well, here, wait, let me, so you can see them here. So this one. This one. And then here's the full face. So these are some of the ones that I did. Uh, yeah, Pecola. How much would it cost to ship a pumpkin, girl? Girl! Auction off a pumpkin. Uh, the shipping. You know, you got to think about that. People don't think about the shipping anymore. It's it's redonkerous. And I don't do international anymore because it, if it gets lost, I have no way to, you know, it's lost. <laughs> Nancy. Uh, <laughs> it is. Shipping is so expensive, Laura. So anyway, all right. So let me go in and tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to, um, these are two of my new books. Connie sent me a duplicate. And so I have the one, I think uh, this is the one that uh, Carrie and Connolly sent me. He sent me either this one or Abandoned, uh, which was the other one I got. Abandoned Sacred Places, one of the two. And then Connie sent me duplicates, so I have duplicates. How about a great artist, art in ink style for Inktober? A great artist. You mean like do a different artist every day? That's a lot of work, Ian. Do a, a pen and ink drawing of a of a like a different artist every day? I don't know. <clears throat> I would have I would be doing nothing else. That's some time consuming stuff right there, Ian. Not that I really mind, but if I if I do nothing else, right? We'll see. I haven't decided yet. So today we're going to do, I'm going to show you how I start altering a book from scratch. And then I got out my um, sketchbook here to do some um, 
Is this the one? Is this the one I want? Or is this the no, this is this isn't it. Where's oh here it is. I picked up the wrong one. <clears throat> My newest sketchbook where we've been uh doing a little bit of uh pen and and, and when I, I say pen and ink, it's ballpoint pen. So doing ballpoint pen. Oh gosh, that got dark, didn't it? Let's uh let's lighten that baby up. Let's lighten that baby up. There we go. So uh, with the ballpoint pen drawing. So if think of start be be thinking of some animals or something to to sketch. <clears throat> Happy hump day, Julie. Happy hump day. <laughs> uh, so yeah, these are some of the ones, and they're just done with ballpoint, you know, with a a, a by rope as they call it, but it's a you know big pen, a big ballpoint pen. Can I sketch a cow? Maybe I'll sketch a cow. So, and then this is the only one that is pencil, and that was from the challenge, um, from the, uh, you know, pencil challenge. But the rest are pen and ink, or, well, a ballpoint pen and uh, super tips, super tip markers. That's all it is, soup, Crayola super tips. This is when we did the Yorkshire, things of Yorkshire, pterodactyl sketches. <laughs> Uh, tulips in a windmill and I started doing some broccoli trees and then some flying turtles they're sea turtles but I thought it would be cool to do like sea turtles in space <clears throat> you know uh, flying turtles instead of sea turtles and then these are like my five second faces just doing ovals and doing little sketches real quick <coughs> it's all done with um uh, ballpoint pen so we'll do that after a while but i wanted to show you um and here i have one done I, this is the only one i have done in here in this new book okay now i gotta turn down the light again because we've gone to um yeah, let's zoom in one and turn the light down again here we go so this is the only one we've done <clears throat> in this book <coughs> i gotta get my voice here and this is what it looked like I saved the place this is the only one I've done in this book so this is what we started with and this is what we turned it into and this is out of Abandoned Palaces Michael Kerrigan Great Houses, Mansions, Estates and Hotels Suspended in Time so yeah so go from this you like this stream laura yeah and i've you know i've shown i'm not going to show them all now because i've shown them so many times but you know i've got i'm working in um i have in in the abandoned books by amber amber books uk i'm working in one two three four five six seven 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 of the abandoned books, but then I also have some other ones. Lost Cities, Forgotten Heritage, Abandoned America, and Abandoned um, Theme Parks, and uh, Secret Cities. So all together, I am working in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. I'm working in 12 different books. 12 different abandoned books. <laughs> I don't know that I'll ever completely finish one, but that, you know, I work in them here and there. So this is what it looks like and then paint it out. <laughs> and I know it looks, I, I am the first one that said these, these look like chicken legs. Somebody else said frog legs, <laughs> but I left them. You know, not everything needs to be like you imagine. It just, <laughs> I want them to be kind of like more like antenna, you know, like, um, like, uh, you know, some kind of like antenna picking up signals and stuff. And then here's my little people down there. There's the people right down there. So you can see the scale of how big this is supposed to be. That, that there's their little people right down there. <laughs> yeah, frog legs. Yeah, button. So uh, anyway, 
axolotl feet. Yeah, ax I know I'm saying that wrong. Ax axolotl, axolotl. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's what they look like. And I've drawn axolotls. So. <laughs> but anyway, so what I want to do is I'm going to take the cover off and I'm going to show you uh, like when I get a new book. Now, I haven't done it in the last couple because usually I just start here and uh, and I'm not you know doing this uh, on, usually on camera. But if I just have a book and I'm starting it by myself, I'm sitting here and of course I look through the whole book and you know, pick out, you know, some things to do. But what I end up doing is I start uh, blacking out because usually I have some kind of space in mind. Not always, but, uh, and I'll start here so you can just kind of see. And I'll just go through the book. Now you do want some wax paper behind your pages because the, the paint will, you'll glue your pages shut. So with the paint. So you want to, um, Where'd the other one go? Where'd it go? We just had two pieces. Did I, what, what the? Where's my other piece? Oh, it fell on the floor. <laughs> <clears throat> so you can just put that in like this and then just kind of to hold it in, just kind of flap it underneath to hold it in place, right? <laughs> Does anyone know legit wire from... Oh, I don't, okay, I guess you're not talking to me, Bacola. I mean, uh, Prisma. Let's see here. <clears throat> Let me lighten this up just a little. There we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is get out some black paint, and I'm just going to show you how, how I usually will sit here, and I'll put some video on. I'll put somebody's video on, and I'll do this for hours. <laughs> I know, but I do. I could sit here and do this for Oh, I don't know. I, I would say maybe three or four hours at a time. Three or four hours at a time. Lurking today. Okay, Ashley. If you Remember, guys, if you have any questions or want to talk to me about anything, put it in caps so I know you're talking to me. Okay. All right. So another thing that I tell people is if you don't like abandoned places, you know, and some people say, oh, that creeps me out. Well, then get a book. Get a book that you like. It can be a travel book. It can be a vacation. It could be a city, a country. It could be birds, animals, gardens. It could be any topic you like, okay? You need to get, if you're going to do a full, finished, abandoned book, regardless of how long it takes you, you want to have a topic or a subject matter that you like. Um, no, I can't really think of them right now. And that would just depend on what you, who, what you, what you're, what you're good at. <laughs> Prisma, I couldn't really say. Um, so I am going to start here because I'm going to want space up here on top of these mountains. Okay, I got a little water in my brush. I always, you always get your brush wet to start with so you're not starting with a dry brush dipped in acrylic paint. But now I got a little, there's a little water in there. So, and I will sit here and turn on videos. And this is true whatever I'm, I'm doing. If I, especially if it's something I don't really have to overthink I'm just like getting base coating and starting um, a project like this. I don't have to really overthink it. Then I can listen to videos and uh, do this while I'm, uh, you know, and I'll sit here for three or four hours and do this <clears throat> on a whole bunch of backgrounds. So I don't want to, let me see, I probably need to prop this up just a little so it keeps off the glare. Let me get a, let me get some kind of a book or something here. Something kind of thick. <clears throat> prop it up just a little. There we go. So, you, so it doesn't have a glare on it. And again, you want, <coughs> you want wax paper or something behind your book because you'll glue your pages shut if you don't. And uh, yeah, it's very, I, I mean, I find it very relaxing 
My favorite brush is an angle brush because you can flip it and get, you know, different uh, sharpnesses and different uh, like that. Okay. Any, any comments or questions? <laughs> Thanks, guys, for the thumbs up. I can't believe already it's almost the end of August. It's just like, what? What, what, what? Is anybody doing anything for uh, Labor Day? I don't know if we're going to go to the lake or not, but if we do, I'll still stream on that Monday, next Monday, because if we do anything, it wouldn't be till afternoon at, anyway, since I stream so early. Um, so I'll still, I still plan on streaming on Monday. Hubster's off. Maybe I can get him to stream with me. That'd be fun. You know, maybe we could uh, do a do something. I don't know if we want to do books or or what. But thanks everybody for hanging out. Hump day. I like Wednesdays. I love my Mondays and I love my Wednesdays too. Both, you know, both are. Oh, I'm gonna show you. I did a little pit. I did a little um, little smash book of Mom and Denise. You know, Denise went out to see Mom this last weekend. Flew out to see her and helped her set up some stuff like her security system and Alexa <laughs> stuff like that. So Denise flew out for the weekend to help Mom do some stuff out in San Antonio. Morning, uh, Nichols. Hi, Karen. So I did, <clears throat> well, I'll show you in a minute because I got wet paint here, but I did a page in my, uh, you know, my people, my, it's kind of like a smash book, you know, where I did on Monday, <coughs> uh, my Monday, the book I worked in on Monday, where it's just kind of like a, a smash book is the best way to say it, I guess, because everybody knows what that is. So I printed out a few pictures. I thought I'd do a couple of family pictures in there along with the, the fibs, friends in the box. Uh, oh, <laughs> your Alexa just responded. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, Bootsy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. So, again, so I would start with this. Let me set this down here and let me dry it. And I do go, I mean, I go like, I go pretty fast. You know, I'm not talking. I'm just working, working, working. So I'll work on a page, dry it, you know, and go on to the next one. And you want to dry it because you'll, you'll stick your pages shut if you don't. I'm just using craft paint, just craft paint. Okay, so I'm gonna move those sheets. So a little bit of ASMR here. <laughs> Let's make sure that everything's dry. Okay. This could probably have a little water in my brush. This needs a little bit more right here. You can kind of see through it. And depending on the color, um, do you usually do a space? I like some area of space. It doesn't have to be a background, full-on background, but it needs to have a cave, a portal. Um, and I do it always. I mean, it's just, I like it. I always like science fiction, you know, so it's just one of my things. Time, science fiction, I just like it. So, uh, do an ASMR Inktober. <laughs> Prisma, I don't record every video. I mean, I don't record every page on Inktober. Okay, so here we go with an, uh, another one. And again, so you've got a lot of stuff here that you can paint out. And you don't have to do it black. It can be, like, I could do it gray. I could do it, you know, um, a blue. I could do it. I, it, for me, it's just easiest and quickest to do it because here's the thing. You can paint over the black. So if I painted something black and I said, hey, I really want that blue. Well, I can paint over the acrylic paint. So it's not really a problem to paint over black with acrylic paint. 
Okay, so the other thing I can I like to do is make sure things blend if you have two pictures that you want to incorporate. Now I'm going to not quite go quite to the edge of that because I don't want to lose that little spire there. So I'll just kind of do this. So what I'll do is on a, something I want to blend, I'll just do use my finger and I'll just kind of blend it in. So I'm just trying to show you how to get started in a book. And I know some people go, oh, my gosh, you're painting a book. Well, that's why you get two of them. <laughs> just get two. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, I, I like abandoned because I feel like I'm recreating. I'm recreating, um, you know, making new worlds out of old ones. So let's see if I can do a little something like that you know you know what I mean burn <laughs> and again once I paint all this in you know and I, I still have I had collage too you know so I can add anything I want down in here you know this could you know I could add a boat down here I could add you know anything anything down in here this could be a whole underworld thing here But what this does, it gives your mind a time to like, just like freeze up your mind to think and, and use your imagination to like, what could this, what possibilities could I have here? You know, and if you're just going through the book and painting out some backgrounds and you think of something, then write it down. Just get a post-it note, write it on the post-it note. And then when you get done drying your page, just stick it on the post-it note uh, of your idea of what you want to do with that page. Like, oh, like I said, oh, if I want a boat there. Then I'll just write it on post-it notes, stick it on here, boat down here. Right? Yes, it does, Ray. It does change the page. Um, okay, Pamela, yeah. I like old school. Uh, I'm an old school sci-fi, old, you know, Asimov, Heinlein, you know, old school uh, when 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 science fiction went fantasy, I I, I kind of really quit reading it for a long time because <laughs> it wasn't it was fantasy then it wasn't science fiction. But uh, I always like science fiction, and you know I love uh, you know I, I went and saw the Star Star Trek and Star War. I mean uh, yeah when they like well especially Star Wars. Oh, let me show you one other thing. You can take your baby wipe and wipe it away while it's wet because this your page is slick. I don't have any matte medium on here, um, but the page is is slick, so I can uh, wipe away if I you know kind of go over a building I don't want to go over or something like that. But you know, in uh, I went and saw Star Wars, at, you know, on the original, uh, and I've always liked Star Star Trek, you know. Um, I think Dragon Con is this week. I have a lot of people I know are going to it. I should, I should, I think uh, William Shatner is going to be there at Dragon Con in Atlanta this coming weekend. Hi, Azure. <clears throat> so, again, I'm not really concentrating on, well, what am I going to do? What am I going to make? What kind of world am I going to build out of this? I mean, some ideas will occur to me. And again, then you just want to write them down. But when you have a new book and you want to make some progress, just go through the book. Go through the book and start, you know, I call it blacking out because I do use black. But, you know, you could, you know, use any color. And if you want to stop and switch over from black to another color to do something else, then, you know, you just do, do you do you. Do you. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I don't I don't overthink it. I don't overwork it at the beginning stages. Okay, so we got some little people down here. Now I'm gonna have these little people, this little sidewalk down here. So I'm gonna get rid of the sidewalk and they're gonna be walking in the stars, baby. Walking in the stars.
I should have a bucket of stars here just so I can throw some stars on some things. Just um, Let's bring it up just a little up to probably their knees at least. Let's do that one. I can fussy paint in things later. This one kind of get it blocked in. So how many of y'all have done, if you've not done a whole book, how many of you do alter, you know, alter something like this, whether it's in a full book or not? How many of you, uh, it is very relaxing, Jersey. You know, like I said, I'll do this when I have a video on, like I'll be watching the Jersey Crafter and <laughs> I'll just be painting away. And again, I'm going to try to get a straight line here. It's fairly straight. While the paint's wet on a slick book, you can wipe it away. All right, so let me go ahead and dry this. You want to do one? Yeah. But, you know, again, get a book that you're going to enjoy, that you like. Travel, a city, or a country or nature, or gardens, or forest, or there's a top, there's a book on everything, right? Louise works in abandoned castles, but you've only completed three pages. That's not, three pages is good. You know, it, it is time consuming. It is, it's a, it's, you're dedicated to a full book. And I do have this on a slant, guys, so that, uh, it's no glare. Have you got a forest book? Um, no, the only books I work on are abandoned. That being said, a lot of the books have forest pictures in them. They're like a lot of abandoned cars in a forest, uh, abandoned, um, abandoned uh, uh, Ferris wheels, and the park's all overgrown. So yeah, I do have some that, and again, guys, I have, I don't know how many, a few, couple hundred at, at least in my um, playlist. So always make sure, not just mine, but other people's, check their playlist to see what topics, I'm going to get a new baby wipe, uh, check their playlist to make sure that you cover all kinds of things that people might do. <coughs> I have over a thousand videos. And so if you want to see abandoned, if you want to see mixed media, altered things, if you want to see color books, if you want to see whatever, you know, I've got, I think I have about, I'm thinking 12 playlists. I'm not sure exactly, 12, 15 playlists. And so you can go in if you want to look specifically for a, a topic and do that with everybody. Because you'll find there's a lot of things you miss in uh, people's uh, videos that if you look in their playlist, <clears throat> you'll find lots of things. Hi, Colleen. Mm, let's see. Anybody else I might have missed? Okay, so for instance, let me just throw a bucket of stars on here just so you can kind of get a... And again, most of you, this one's almost empty. I gotta just get another one out. Let's see if I can get anything left out of here. I'm gonna add water to it. So let me just finish up this, finish up this bottle here. Okay. And get a nice fluffy brush. Let's see here. Add a little more water. Just so you can kind of get it. Now, I don't usually throw stars on something until I finish collaging because I'm going to collage over it and then add more stuff. But, you know, I just want to show you what it looks like. Not that you don't already know, but like down here. Whoops, that's too big. Let me get a, I got to knock that away. Here, let me knock some of that off. I'm going to get a little bit less water. This brush, hang on. I got, this brush is too fat. I need a, I need a different brush to get thin stars. Let's see here. 
Let me look through my brushes. There we go. <clears throat> a lot of people use tooth toothbrushes to do this. I find it just, you know, I'm, I have more control over it with a, a flicking of a paintbrush rather than flicking of a toothbrush. An old toothbrush, I mean, not the toothbrush you use. <laughs> oh, so let me just do this. <clears throat> just so you can kind of see how it changes it immediately to space. <laughs> and then you get too many. This could be, you know, three or four planets or you just wipe it off either way. You know, you can, uh, or paint over things. Don't, you know. <laughs> there are painting clothes. Most of my clothes are painting clothes. The other benefit of using acrylic paint and matte medium. Yeah. yeah, a couple of pencils here to show you. Uh, and this is true in color books or in um, altering your books like this. You know. So. <clears throat> Do we get a little full? I think it's okay. I could, I could turn the light down just a little. Always, ad <clears throat> always adjusting the lighting here. There we go. That's better. Um, don't use your toothbrush. Use someone else's. <laughs> All right. So here's um. Oh, oh, I, I got a broken pencil. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get another one. Okay. All right. All right. Here. Let's 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 get this. <laughs> Okay, so, and this is, there's a couple of those that are not 100% dry yet, so hopefully we're not. Um, so, this is shiny and slick, right? Your pencil, you can make some marks. You can see a little bit of pencil on there. I don't know if you can. I can see some pencil there, but it's, it's not like this. Here's, this is why, and if I had matte medium over this, then I could do this too, okay? <clears throat> Uh-oh, I dropped my other pencil. Hang on, guys. <clears throat> so your pencil will go over the paint. Now, I'd probably have a watch part right here, and this would be a watch hand. Oh, I can't see. I have one handy. Well, I have a watch handy. Let's, Let's just pick something out here just so you can kind of get the idea. So I'm trying to like kind of give you some different, you know, get started kind of things. Get started in your um, altered book. Tips, if you will. So if that was there, then I'd have... Pasta is another thing. You're, uh, if you only have one pasta paint get a white one okay so if i and again if i want to just for a minute you know just tack it down just put a little bit of glue stick on there just a little bit of glue stick just to hold it till you get back to it okay so you can kind of see now i'll dry that There's no matte medium on anything yet. So once you have matte medium, it's it's really um, I'll get this here. once you have matte medium on it, that you the, you're you have a lot more freedom to do things because your pencil will go over it and stuff like that, right? <clears throat> So 
So, yeah. But anyway, just so you can kind of see the kind of things you can do once you throw some stars, a bucket of stars down, once you um, start collaging things. Again, if you're just joining us, let me just show the one piece that I do have done in here. Take off my wax paper. So let's go to the page. Here we go. So this is the one we did. We did this a couple weeks ago. Let me show you what it looked like to start. And the, this is the same book, just another copy of the same book. So here's what it started out as. I didn't know I couldn't live without. Oh, I know. You can't live without a Posca, a white Posca, Nancy. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jersey. So this is what we started with, and this is what we turned it into. Again, guys, I've flipped through my abandoned books so many times. I don't really feel like I should need to do it today. Um, but there's tons of videos. If you just go find one of the abandoned books, there's probably some form of a flip through in one or two or, or many of the books. So, um, yeah, so this is the same book. And this is the only page I finished in this book, but you can see and I get an idea. And then again, there's the little people down there, little people way down there. I just have it propped up on a book so we keep the, the glare off. All right, so now let's go back. So again, that's just tacked down for the time being. <clears throat> so I would just do this. I'd just go through the book. Let's put our wax paper. And I might do something with blue or something. All right. Well, maybe this one. All right. Let's um. All right. Let's go ahead and do where I, I would do black first down in here. And again, I use I would use my finger a lot to blend. I would just be all in it. <laughs> you know, just be all in it. And I love this waterfall because then all this down here, I'm painting it black, but I can paint the waterfall, the water splashes and all. I can paint it right over the top your white paint will go f just fine over the black as long as it's dry as long as it's dry so you could do this with a baby wipe too if you don't like touching it but i i like getting my hands all in it so you just start smearing it and then if you want to like blend it a little more or a little more accurately you can take your baby wipe and Stop and blend. You'll go through a lot of baby wipes doing this. Okay. Now, I think what I'll do is I'll have the roof in right here. And I'll go into the clouds and everything on this side. Okay, so there we can have that come down like that. <clears throat> I hope this is interesting or helpful to anybody liking to do a uh, mixed media collage, altered book, any of that, you know, because it's one of my favorite things to do. All right. So now here, look at things like, all right, so you see how this mountain ends right there? Well, you don't have to have it in there. Maybe have a little bit of you know, something going on there. Like that. Okay. And I'm going to paint all this out. And again, it doesn't have to stay black and it doesn't have to be space. I'm going to show you up here how you can do the um, sky. This won't necessarily, it could be, um, it could be more greenery and I could use collage. You know, whatever you can imagine, you can use collage and make that your, you know, make that world. But this, what this does is it just gets rid of anything, you know, white space or text or anything that you don't want to have to um, see. So I could put, I could glue in trees here all the way across, pieces of um, green foliage kind of stuff. And it doesn't even have to be like necessarily trees. Um, you know, like cut out trees, okay? It doesn't ha have to necessarily be cut out trees. I'll show you here. It can, it can just be color. 
All right now, let me let me dry this real quick. It is thick right there. Oh, thanks, Penny Girl. It's very relaxing to do it. I don't know how relaxing it is to watch it. <laughs> but if you uh, try some of it, you know, watch the video back and pause it in between the steps. Pause it in between the steps and see what you can do. All right. So, for instance, like I was saying here, let me just get a random magazine here. Uh, one I've already cut it into here at one point. Um, <coughs> I've already cut into this high fructose uh, magazine. Let's see if I can find something. Not too overly too uh, bright, but let's see here. I'll flip through and just find some kind of texture or something. Um, let's see. Hang on, guys. It's just... Like I said, I don't want something that's really bright, like, you know, that. You know, I want something that's more, um, I just want to find some green. Let's see. Uh, or maybe some of this. Okay, so here, this is a good example. All right, so I am going to just pick out little bits of color. I'm not trying to pick out any image. You can turn it upside down, right side up. I just want little bits of color, okay? So I would just kind of go along here. And just get little, um, right now I'm just kind of getting little pieces of red. But it could be green, could be whatever. This is going to be kind of like the, you know, next layer of the background and again this gets painted in right it gets all painted in and just kind of get you know an idea of, a, of another horizon there of another line it's relaxing oh well, good jersey and again if i want to um if i wanted to i could just tack this down with the glue stick right? This, this waterfall could be coming over this right here. Once I paint this in, you just, you know, in, and I show that all the time. I'm trying not to get into the weeds here today. Um, I, I want to just kind of show you basic stuff, but the waterfall could come over here and then come down here and splash around down here. Okay. So I'm not going to do this part right now, you know, get fussy about it. But I want to show you how you can make different horizons and things. I'll just stick this in here when I'm done. Um, <clears throat> but now I'll show you that, like the clouds. Okay, so let's get another thing of another uh, tray to put paint in. Let's get some a uh, couple of shades of. Uh, let's just go with blue and white for now. I'm going to use um, Blue Harbor is one of my favorite blues. A little blue harbor and some more white. We'll open a new white here. Okay. Now you can do this with a paintbrush or your fingers or a combination of both. I get into the weeds. <laughs> I don't get into the weeds. I get into the forest. <laughs> okay. So again, you want your uh, paper up there where I'm going to end up painting. I'm going to start with the blue and a little bit of white. Okay, so I got both colors here. So I'm going to start with the blue, and I'm just going to, you know, get some blue in here. Okay. I'm trying to... Let's just get rid of all of this. And then uh, I'm switching back and forth from finger to finger here. So I got some white on one finger. I got blue on another. And if it's a lot, you know, you probably want to get out a paintbrush because it's you're going to have a lot of painting. It's you know, you might feel like it's quicker with a um, paintbrush. Let's go around that roof line, and you'll find techniques and things that you'll do yourself. You know, that just work for you. Okay, so a little bit of, and then if you want, you can get in here with uh, 
your baby wipe. So let's just get some of this down here. And if sometimes your fingers are too big, you got to get in there with the brush anyway. Okay, so I'm getting in here with the blue right along there and some white in the clouds. And then what I'm, I like to also do is like mist and things like this one. I might want it to be more in the clouds. These clouds would be really far away. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit more in here. So just to show you, it doesn't have to be all painted black. You can go in here with uh, clouds and other things, you know, or sky, blue. It can be anything, you know, whatever you imagine. You can put a whole garden up here in the sky. Why not? <laughs> uh, <I don't, laughs> just like you see things in the clouds, right? And then, all right, so now let's just say over this rooftop, look at those clouds right there. I am seeing I'm just using my fingers and just kind of Something like that. And then again, I, like I said, down here I'll have all kinds of things going on with water down in here. Okay, and then I might want some misty stuff going on. This might want to be more misty. And I try to mash it into the baby wipe because it just makes it more mashed in better. So just kind of, you can kind of see where we're heading here. I want a little bit more definition between that and that. This can kind of come down this way. All right, so anyway, I'm going to stop on this. But I just wanted you to see that you don't have to do necessarily black in the background. You can use the sky that's already there. And, and, and this is also good. And I also show magazine journals where magazines are a good way to practice your matching colors. You know, and craft paint, guys, these are a like dollar each, you know. You know, spend 20 bucks and get you 20 different colors. And then you can blend and, and try to match colors and, and practice that in a magazine. You know, especially like any kind of art magazine. Well, here, like this, for example. Wait, wait, let me dry this. Let me dry this. Thank you, Coca-Cola, just put a link to the book. Yeah, on Amazon. Thanks, Victoria. And these are published by Amber Books out of the UK. Okay, so, um, all right, let me move my wax paper for a minute. So what you can do is take a, a magazine and find something, you know, Find something like these oranges and yellows or these greens or whatever and just get, your, you know, put some on there and get in, get in there with your fingers. You'll find that you can blend and, and do so much 
with your fingers. Um, I'm going to find some more okay, bright colors here. <clears throat> Anything that's, you know, just got color, start with some, you know, basic colors. But you can get in here and try to match it because that's good practice. Um, you know, just kind of like you do with your color books. You can match it with pencils. Well, you can match this with paint. All right, let's make sure this is dry now because if I close the book, it'll stick. It'll stick if there's anything not dry on there. And then that'll tear your page. Okay, let's prop this back up here so we have no glare. Okay, so any questions, Didi? I like the idea of using red for a background, but not sure what to do after that. Well, you have to, what you know, look at your whole page. Uh, you, you know, if you want something with red, um, what, why? Why is it red? What's the red mean? You know, like we have the blue sky, we have black for outer space. Um, you know, you have to have have a reason, have a reason for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do this next one here. And this is usually what I do. I'll, I'll be watching a video and just go page by page. But if you come across one, you just go, I don't know. So like this next one's going to have some green in it. Um, if you come across one, you just don't, you know, you don't feel like doing it. Well, then just skip it. You know, it's not like you don't have a hundred other ones. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start down here, just putting down some black, and we're kind of working these up into these windows here. I mean, like, you want to use red, but what, like fire, maybe? Um, I don't remember which book it's in. I would show you my, uh, my uh, Asian girl that's uh, the magician. In the, but I don't remember which book it's in. Uh, let me let me see if I can find it on Instagram real quick. I'll show you one where I used red. I woke. Oh, hi, Jean. Jean, do we need to be asking at you to get back to your watercolor? You've knitted long enough, girl. You're knitting. You knit, knit, knit. <laughs> Quit knitting for a minute, Jean. All right, let's see if I can just find it real quick in my Instagram. Oh, it's farther back than this. It's been a while since I did that one. Let's see. Uh, Denise, hang on. Hey, Fuzzhead, what's up? Uh, I don't think so. I'm streaming right now. You want to say hi to everybody? Oh, let, me put you, let me put you on speakerphone. Okay, go ahead. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that Southern girl. No, I'm not Southern at all. <laughs> all right, well, have a good stream. Sorry. I you on the drive to work? I didn't realize you were streaming this morning. I forgot. Yeah, that's okay. I've only been doing it nine years. <laughs> well, with my vacation, I, know. I actually thought today was Friday. Oh, my morning. gosh, yeah. So, so I can't keep back up. I did a little a regular sketch. Yeah, I did a little uh, smash book page of you and grandma with that one where you you all were mice. You use the Instagram filter with the mice. I yeah, I may. I, I haven't shown the girls yet. I'll show them. Well, and I say girls, but there's guys here too. Oh, sorry, Ian. Um, <laughs> Hi, Ian. Way yeah, way to represent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I did a little page of you and um, and Grandma. So I'll, I'll show that in a little bit. <laughs> All right. Um, and the boots, too. Oh, the, I, uh, I did show the boots. I did show the boots on Monday because you sent me a picture. Okay, yeah. He, uh, I said, I wonder what mom would draw these. Oh, boots. that was Wesley's boots. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. yeah, I was talking about Boo's boots. Oh, yeah, so she loves them. I know. She told me. She she messaged she me and told me. Yeah. She did. Yes, she did. No, Wesley's boots. He was like, he said, "Do you think she would draw? Really?" He said, "If she did, I'd put it right up on my wall." Ah, oh, yeah. He like I did Brad's boots. So I have to do Wesley's boots. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, I didn't mean to sign up for a project. That's okay. Oh, well, it's it's. I'll put it on the list. Can't promise when. Oh sure, yeah. All righty. Well, have a good stream. Thanks, Amy. You too. Sell, hey. sell two or three of them. Yeah. All righty. Okay. Yeah, you. Can you believe that? Yeah. Because you're the one working it. So, yeah, I can believe it. 
Well, they only sold two in 10 months before us. We sold three in a week. <laughs> That's because you're on it. <laughs> well, Laura, too. Laura's a great partner. Oh, good. good. She's really nice. All right. Well, have a great day. All right, honey. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Back to looking for that piece, the red one. I'm scrolling, guys. I'm scrolling through Instagram. Um, in case you didn't know, Denise is in real estate. So, yeah. Here it is. I found it. Oh, that's one side. Okay, so here's one. It's it's two side. It's a double sided page. So here's the the one side, and it goes over to this side there. See, so see the red. I use red in this one. And what book was this? Which book was that out of? Abandoned places. So it wasn't abandoned places. Hi, Eileen. I know I'm probably missing some stuff. Okay. So, yeah, talking to my daughter. All right. So, let's get back here. Where's my brush? Okay. All right. So, I might go right up to here with the black. Right to there. And I might... I mean, I know I'm covering stuff up, but that's what you do. <laughs> I'm this black right here. Okay. So then you can start blending in. This could be more buildings here. You could just do this in cream or light gray. And then going up here, let me clean up. I need to move that little, my little, uh, I have this sitting on my water thing. And it rattles. Let me move that. Okay. Okay, I guess I didn't miss too much. All right. Um, let's go over here with the blue again. And I might just start by painting all this out. And it could I could paint it stars and space as well. Or I can just go ahead and go with blue and clouds. So let's just put some blue in here. I'm going to go in here with some white and blue. Are we still with the tour? Jean's not going to do Inktober. Oh, she's going to do Knittober. Well, she's already started on it. She's already been doing Knittober. <laughs> she needs she needs to get us back, get back some watercolor with us. I miss Jean's watercoloring. So you can just, you know, start with something like this. And again, if you get too much, not enough, you can go in there with your baby wipe and start blending. Baby wipes are the best blending tool ever next to your fingers. So just so you can kind of see, you know, that's a little much right there. I'm going to take some off. It's a little much. While it's, you know, you can uh, like almost erase it because it's on, this is on glossy paper. Loving the tour. <laughs> Thanks, Jersey. Okay, so let's try this. <laughs> And again, this is just the initial painting out. I haven't even got to the collage part yet, right? We haven't even touched any collage. Well, we have touched a little bit on it, like with the watch and whatever. But uh, I'm, I'm not really going to do that. And y'all be thinking of some animals, and we're going to do some sketching uh, with the ballpoint pen in a little bit. Trapped on the tour bus? <laughs> Baby girl. <laughs> and y'all make sure to follow each other you just click on their name and 
and the little dots will appear and you can just follow. You can follow, um, follow along. Uh, anybody here? So let me move this real quick. Make sure it's dry. You want to make sure it's really dry. I can see some wet bits there. You don't want to close your book. I'll let this sit for just a second. I'll show you that. Um, rabbit, tra rabbit trail. So in my uh, book here of, uh, you know, smash book for better, lack of better, uh, you know, terminology. So what I did is I did put pull a little section. I put all my uh, ones that I've done. I've done three so far. And then I started. Uh, Laura, she's still here. Laura Lou, she said it's a it's a YouTube yearbook when you put your fibs in there, your friends in the box. So I love that, Laura. Yearbook YouTube. Year, YouTube yearbook. But it's not going to just be YouTube. I'm going to have some of my family in here too. Because it's a you know, it's a big thick book. I got room for both. So let's see. Oh, oh wait, that's the wrong thing here. Let me do uh let me do a little brightening up here. So um, yeah, on Monday, you started yours, Laura? Uh, on Monday, I so what I did is I, I put them close together, okay? So I had them all spread out because I just picked, I picked things by the color of the, uh, of the thing I wanted to do. And so some were back here, some were over here, some were over here. Well, I went ahead and put them all together. So let me show them to you again. Like here's Zandra. Okay, there's Zandra. Then here is Laura, and again, it has a flap. I didn't photograph the flap out when I took a picture of it, but, you know, um, there's the Laura page. And then over here, I've got my Janet page. And so it's to help promote their channels, their art, whatever, just to, you know, give them shout outs. And I do have a list I've already started. So, and again, if you want to be in the book, just let me know, you know, if you have a business card you want to send me or something, that's fine. Uh, otherwise, I'll just add you to my little list. Let's see. Here's my little list. So I got Xander, Laura, and Janet. I want to do Pack or Die and um, A Colorful Life and, and Barb Owen. So those are my next three I'm going to do. Um, like Jersey. Jersey does a similar thing. She does um, She does Happy Mail. Uh, what else? Let's see. What else do you put in yours, Jersey? You know, kind of like my old Fluffette. I'll pull Fluffette down again. Hang on. Hang on. She's up on the shelf. She's a big mama here, my Fluffette. So this is Fluffette. We did her some years ago, and it's kind of the same concept, uh, but this was in a composition book. And where I've added, you know, mail, happy mail, uh, all about you pictures that I've done of people, of collages, that I've done of people like here. And this is just a photograph of the eight and a half by 11 collages. So again, this was Fluffette, did, did her some years ago. And there's a hundred people in this one and it got full. So I started another one. And then we just kind of, it got to be so many that, you know, I figured, you know, I think everybody got the idea. <laughs> With, and so I call it Fluffette because she's fluffy, right? She's fluffy. And then I decided to do this one, which is just a little bit more just, um, you know, kind of more smash booky. No, no real painting. Sorry, I keep bumping my table where the camera is. Not really any, uh, you know, I might do a little bit of stencil painting and some inking with stamps or something. But this is not all going to be all painted out. Um, yeah, yeah, Monday. Yeah, Monday, Jersey. And uh, so there's not this isn't going to be all painted out. It's going to be more paper. It's going to be more paper, your scraps, your stickers. And that's one of Laura's paintings, right? That's actually a real watercolor. And I just kind of tipped it in. It's not glued down. I can lift it up. It's just with washi tape. So it's just to use your supplies and, uh, and stuff. So anyway, what I did is I started just, I stuck some pictures in here. Here's a little one I did of Denise and mom in San Antonio. Got a little tip-in thing here. Um, so it's all Texas stuff. These are Texas stickers, Texas cutouts, Texas stuff. Girls' night out. Denise put one of those filters on her and mom, one of those mice filters. So there's my mom and daughter, Denise, with the mouse filter. 
<laughs> and I just put all kinds of, uh, there was already a base here of some picture from a flow picture. And I just put this little picture in there and then all kinds of little text and stuff. This is, this is not necessarily, when I did my uh, scrapbooking, you know, I did most everything 12 by 12 and it was very compositionally color correct. You know, I would do everything very, um, you know, I'd pile on a lot of stuff, but it was very um, color coordinated and very, um, let's see here if I can find one on my, um, very, um, uh, I had a plan. I had a plan. Let's put it that way. When I scrapbook by 12 by 12 pages, I had plans. <laughs> so everything was very, uh, laid out and, and thought out, thought out. This is not thought out or laid out. I'm slapping stuff down. I'm slapping stuff down. You saw how quickly I did the Janet page. It's, you know, I mean, I like how it turned out, but it's not, it's not a, it's not a scrapbook laid out kind of thing. It's using up the stickers and the cutouts and the, you know, I'm just slapping it down. And that that's the point of it is just to make it a smash book type thing whether than a scrapbook layout thing, you know. So that's what I did with mom and Denise right here. So, yeah. So, and then I, I did print out some pictures. Like, I love this picture of my um, grandchildren, Cam and Boo. And I love that picture. They're both looking at something on the phone. Um, so I love that picture. So I pulled out a couple different pictures. Let me see here. And I just, I just, they're just tacked in there. They're not, I mean, they're just like one little piece of sided tape just to stick it in there for now. It's not going to necessarily be on this page. There's a couple pictures of Boo catching her fish, some of the cats. So there's another one of Cam. His hair color changes monthly, you know. Some more of the cats. So, you know, I just threw a few pictures in there just to um, have something to work with. Oh, and then I, I did put them all together here so I could find them because they're kind of in the, in the middle here. So I just kind of clipped this whole section together. So that whole section is where I'm doing that, you know, that stuff. So anyway, I just thought I would show that to you. I'll just keep a band around it. <clears throat> okay, so there's our little rabbit trail there because I wanted to show that picture of Denise and Mom. All right, back over here. Back over here. <laughs> Thanks, guy. Did you? No, I didn't put any rulers, uh, ruler washi tape on Janet. <laughs> but here's a, all. All right, so I, well, on Monday I explained um, that I'm not trying to go out and specifically dig through all because you know I showed you. I have bins and bins. I have twenty bins of collage and stickers and stencils and stamps and stationery and cutouts and collage. I, I can't go through all that. And I, and I tried to organize it years ago. I tried to organize everything like with drawers of just flowers, drawers of watches and clocks and mechanic, a drawer of just this, that, and the other. And I wasn't using it. I'm just one more to dig in a bin, pull out what works and roll with it. Right. I'm just I can't be that that contained, <laughs> if you will. I have to just roll with it. Right. <laughs> OK, so again, here we got to start so you can just see how, you know, this I could paint this out gray right now just to make it part of this building. OK. All right. So let's do a little one on here with some green. All right. So let's go ahead and I'll show you. This one has multiple pictures. And I've shown how to do multiple pictures before, too. But I'm just going to, again, just do a start where we're locking things out. All right. So I'm going to start with, let's go with some light blue sky. Let's go with the baby blue sky instead of the dark blue sky. We'll get some of that color out. And, and again, you know, you could do it like this. You could start with black. You could, you know, whatever. It's, there's not really any anything you have to do it a certain way but I'm just trying to show you some ways that make it a little um let me see I need some tan um help helpful 
It's going to be, well, it might be not creamy enough. We'll see. I'll just throw it out there for now. <clears throat> but it's, you know, and, and, I, and I hear people go, I can't do that. I don't have an imagination. And I can tell you that nine times out of ten, I'll say, well, have you tried? No. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but I, you know, I am kind of. Um, have you tried? Have you tried? Have you got out a brush? You know, have you got out some paint? And this is true of anything. You know, I can't draw a stick figure. Well, when's the last time you tried to draw something besides a stick figure? Well, you know, when I was in high school, I can't draw. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, that's what you usually hear. You know, there, people complain about, you know, I can't do this. I can't do that. Well, when was the last time you tried? Well, you know, sometimes it's never. <laughs> and, and the other thing, too, is it does take practice. You know, um, you're not going to probably pick up your paints and your finger and do this the first time you pick it up. You know, but if you like it, it's it's like anything else. If you like doing something, you will do it. You will spend the time. You will practice. You will, you know, get your pencil out and shade. You'll get your ballpoint pen out and ink. You'll get your whatever it is that you wish you could do, but you won't practice. You, you, you know, you got to practice. Just saying. Um, I've been lurking and learning for a couple months. Thank you for the inspiration. You're welcome, Julie uh, Ridge. You're welcome. You know, come here and get a lecture. <laughs> oh, goodness. So I'm going to have some of this kind of go right over the top of this building here. Okay. How far down do I want it? Maybe down, down to the grass here. So I'm going to do that down here. Okay. I don't want those trees there, so I can just... You know, get rid of those trees. And again, you can, you know, get it. Some of this is tight, tight. You could get in there with a the brush. But what I'm doing is just kind of trying to blend things together. The two different photos, this can end up being all one, one thing. You know, this can all be one um, ruin. <clears throat> All right, let's see now. I'm going to go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get a little colors of uh, tan and brown here. Let's see if I can get a little bit of, just kind of block this out here. I'm not trying to make little bricks with my finger. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to kind of get it blended in to start. So how many, uh, how many people love ancient history and um, I mean, I'm just thinking of that because of this particular piece. But how many of y'all like to read and study and um, buy books on different um, things in history? Is, any, is anybody else like history and ancient history? Or if you like other times and time periods, like Hupster likes American history. Um, you know, do y'all have any time? You know, is there anything that y'all like? history wise and on, and if you don't that's okay i'm just asking does anybody like different uh yeah uh jersey says she likes ancient history best all right so i'm going to try to get these two to blend i mean be the same like on the same kind of plane right they don't have to match perfectly at this stage well, they really never have to, but, you know, I'm just saying right now, I'm just trying to get these two uh, photos to kind of work together. So if you find some kind of line that makes them work together, then just kind of use that line. And again, if you get too much and you don't like where it is, just take your baby wipe. Yeah, I know. I love, I love all the old archaeology and all the History, art history. Laura likes art history. I watch documentary of all sorts. So 
So I'm going to just take, kind of get a couple of colors of the brown here. I don't want any green up in here right now. I want all this to be parts of buildings. And, you know, and again, you can get more fussy detailed in later. Right now, I'm just trying to block out, block out and block, you know, out the different, uh, anything I don't want. That's so I can keep my pictures blended together or blend the pictures together, I should say. Just for a start, you can always paint things in. And again, at this stage, if you if you're doing something you don't like, um, <clears throat> you can white it out. I mean, wipe it out with the baby wipe. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going down here, a little bit down here. Let's get it some more. Maybe I need some gray in here. Okay, so let me get some, carry that down. I'm going to put some green in here too. I maybe want another little door in there. Maybe a little water or some, or maybe even a, a little portal right there. Candy, I do need some gray. Let's see, where's the... Uh, where's the gray? I'm not finding my grays. Let's see. I just organized everything. You organize yourself into um, not being able to find anything. <laughs> I could just mix some black and white and blue, but, you know. Get some slate gray out here. And again, you don't have to do all this much to start. It can just be a couple of colors, block it out. If I don't want any grass in there. Okay, so maybe start with that. And if I do want some greens in here, let's just start with the base of an olive green. Maybe a little green and gray. Just make sure you dry it well because this is I'm put this is thick guys I mean this is pretty thick you know to cover up anything especially the white areas along the edge so you make sure you dry it really well or you will stick your pages together <laughs> ask me how I know <clears throat> okay then maybe a little bit of gray right here where that little wall can continue some more green up here. Some more brown. And then some more green. So you're just trying to, you know, blend it all out. All right, another baby white. Now, do I want this to have more of the building in there, or do I want it to just be covered with the sky? You can just do whatever you want. It's your world. You are remaking the world. <clears throat> Maybe some gray. And then some brown over it. More green down here. And just keep blending and working. Do you usually prep the whole book at once? Mm, I'll make an effort to do that, Melinda. To do that, like I was talking earlier, you probably weren't here. Uh, I will try to do um, a bunch 
do I ever sit down and complete a full book? No, because I just, that takes too many hours. I can probably, you know, I'm doing, you know, a page every, even if I keep at it five, every five minutes and you have 200 pages, you know, it's a lot. So can I sit and do a whole book in one sitting? No, but I'll sit here for three or four hours. I'll sit and do one. I'll do a work on it for three or four hours. Because you also have to, you know, get your paint out, different colors. You're cleaning up. You're drawing in between. So I'll do a lot. I'll pull out my abandoned book here in a minute just so you can see. I think my abandoned book, I have more pages done than any of them. Redefining the world one page at a time. I like that. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write that down, um, Prisma. That's a good one. I always write down y'all's good scenes. Okay, let's see. Redefine, redefining the world one page at a time. Going to go in the wing nut at a time. Praise my girl. I like that. All right. Now it's not quite dry. Let's move the... But again, guys, I got tons. You know, if not, you know, I can't say how many hundreds of pages that I've videoed, but I've done hundreds of pages. Um, we have a thousand videos here. Thank you, Melinda. So like that one, maybe there's a little way back in here. Might paint out some of these doors to be uh, more pro pro pronounced, you know, in here. Maybe one up here. Let's put one up here. And then just to kind of balance it out, it kind of needs a, maybe one right here. And then another one over on the other side. Over in here somewhere. I don't know yet. I don't want to get too far. But let me dry this. Oh, it's YouTube being a PETA. It was on Monday. If you if it glitches, guys, if YouTube glitches, make sure to go check your little wheel. Go down to the little wheel and make sure that it didn't default you back to 144. Okay? Make sure it didn't default you back. Put it back up to at least 720, if not 1080p. I'm streaming in 1080. But, you know. Oh, by the high calor and by calor, I didn't see you come in. So if it that happens, make sure you um, readjust your settings. <laughs> Yesterday, I mean Monday, it was fine for the first like hour and a half. And then, like the last forty-five minutes or so, it, and there's really nothing I can do. None of us can. You know what are you going to do? Hi, Mama Four. But do check your wheel because that does happen a lot. It happens to me on other streamers. Okay, so there's a start. So maybe real quick, I might want to. 
go in here. There we go. Yeah, the abandoned palaces is new, Deborah. So I'll show you again the one that I finished about a couple weeks ago and what it looked like because I have two copies of it. So here's uh, here's what we started with here and then turned it into this. And I did paint little tiny people in here so you could get a scale. Little people down there. A scale of how big this is supposed to be. Don't laugh at my frog feet or my axolotl axolotl feet. <laughs> okay, so I would just continue to go through page by page and work on, you know, work on getting rid of backgrounds just through the whole book. Okay. It's just a way to start the book. You don't have to do that. You could just pick a page and start working on it immediately, right? But I just kind of want to show you how you can do that. And again, if you have black, uh, if you do acrylic, acrylic paint, what's nice is you can go over it. You can go over it with a pencil. You can't do that, you know otherwise all right so there we go i'm just going to leave it at that for now i will do a quick flip through some a little bit of abandoned uh places just so you can see a couple pages but again i've done multiple flips guys of these books so if you want to see all the pages that i've done over the years but i'll i'll pull out a couple here and again one copy not done anything in one copy. Let me move, split, especially this big blob of black paint. I can just see the cats getting up on that. <clears throat> That'd be a hot mess. All right, let's pick a few of these up so I have some space. All righty. And then we're going to draw a little, just going to sketch a little bit. Hi, great. I know I'm missing people. How are we doing? Is the video being a little stable yet? This wax paper. And then after the show, you got to clean all this stuff up. <laughs> you got to clean it all up. I should probably go get some juice before I start drawing anything. Okay. Um, Maybe I'll prop this up a little here. All right, so let's see. How what do I want to do this? Maybe I'll put this one in my lap. And I want to just show a few. I'll just show a few pages. I won't show all of them. Like, I'll show some of the ones I know are done here. Okay, like this one started out like this. Let's move it down. This one started out like this. And after I'm completely done with them, I do varnish them. I do varnish them with a uh, water-based gloss varnish. So this one is done and varnished. So you see? <clears throat> All right, let's see. Do I, I think I have some marked here. Okay, so this one's it's these four pictures. And then this one is what I'm turning it into. This one still has a little bit more work to do, but you can see how I incorporated four different pictures. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm, where's this one? I have most of them marked, but not all of them. I don't have them all marked, so... Here's this one. And turned it into this. And again, it's a little, you know, I could tilt it just a little to get the, but I don't want to get it too dark. If I get it too dark, then you know, 
although it is darker than what's shown on camera. Okay, this one, this one started out like this. And I'm still working on this one. This one's not done. If they're not varnished, you can always you can always continue on if they're not varnished. So I'm skipping a lot of ones that are partially done. Uh, picking out the ones that are a little further along. Okay, this one. There's this baby. Okay. This one's a real dramatic change. Oh, thank you, Laura. Again, I got it propped up so there's no glare. Okay. This next one. This one I really like a lot. Okay, so this one is what it started as. And here's what I turned it into. So again, this is all paint and color pencil. Paint and color pencil. You know, we've been doing this for you know quite a few years now. Let's see. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and I've shown these many times, guys. This one's from 2017. That one's not done. Okay, here's one. Let's see. Here. Just kind of showing you the before and after. And most of these have videos, guys. Not every one, but most of them have videos. Let's see, where's this one? This one doesn't have a whole lot done to it, but just enough. Oh, thank you, Devin. Yeah, new people all the time, you know, come in and don't haven't seen any of them. So, again, this one doesn't have a lot done to it. And I'm working in, what did I say, 12 books? 12 books all told? Okay, here's the red one that I was talking about. Someone who was asking me about red, the red one. Let's see. There's those hills here. So you can see. See, I've started blocking some of these out. These aren't done. They're just blocked out. See? What is this? Here we go. This is the one. And this one's done and varnished. See the shine on it? So this is what it started out as. Is the tiger waiting? Yeah, that's at the back of this one, uh, Julie. I think that's the last page in this one. Oh, thanks, Pacola. Yeah, thanks for the thumbs up, guys. And then this is what we turned it into. So there's red. See the little bridge going across there? So again, started out as this. And we turned it into this. Yeah, Sherry, you're asking. So here's here's one with red in it. Of course, I added all the planets and everything, you know, around the base here. Okay, let's see. This one. Yeah, it is a ban it's abandoned places. It's the first one. It's the first one, Prisma. Kerry and Connolly, yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, this next one is one of my favorites, too. I really love this one. <clears throat> I 
Okay, yeah, this is one of this is one of my favorites. And again, I'm kind of skipping past some that I just have partially done, partially figured out. See, this one's not done. It's just partially painted out. Here's a good one that's very um, simple. I mean, in the in the fact that there's not a lot. Um, started as this. And then painted this. Again, it's a little, it flashes out a little when I tilt it. All right, let's see. Let's find a couple more that are a little further along. This one. All right. Of something glued there. This is a real tra dramatic one. See that little guy right there? There he is right here. Right there. These guys on YouTube, I don't know. Okay, this one, I, I really like this one too. This is what it started. Yeah, I like contrast in my stuff. So you can see here, see there's no planets, no anything back there. But this is what's really there. This is what's really there. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Go. Let's see. Just flipping here, trying to find a few that are. I'm glad I left the pink post it notes. It's easier to find them. It's easier to find them while, since I left the post it notes in it. Oh, thank you, Devin. All right, let's see. Next page. And I've, yeah, I've done posters of them too. I've done giant posters. I've, I've shown y'all those too. In progress. This one here. Not a lot changed on this one. These people were already there, but now they're looking into space. <laughs> In progress. This one is still a work in progress, too. See, I painted out the sky, painted into here, left the little people, left the little people. All right, a couple more. All right, so this, this one I think is, uh, this one's Julie's favorite, she said. Where's this one at? I forgot about the, no, this one's... Wait, I haven't got to the train station yet. Where's this one? Where's the train? Hang on. Um, it's back further, I think. Where is this one? Hmm. Oh, do I pass it up? Well, I don't know where the original one is that where the original one for this one is. Oh, here it is. And then I go back a page. Two pages. Yeah, there we go. There's the line in the train station.
so anyway, guys, there's that's some from the abandoned places. Again, I'm working in 12 different books. Um, and I, I think all but one, I have duplicates of um, the Amber books, abandoned ones. So I can always show the before and the after. So there we go. There's some samples. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Mm, hope you enjoyed getting some ideas on, let me get some paint off my hands. How do I get started anyway? Get started in the um, books. Thank you guys. And again, I, I flipped through all of them at one time or another. So they're all, um, they're all in there. They're all in the playlist. <clears throat> Okay, so, hi, Anastasia. So, for a little while, I thought I'd just do some little sketching uh, with ballpoint pen. And I'll just, if you want to call out an animal or something. Uh, somebody said a cow. Let me move these baby wipes. Um, I am going to need to take a quick break in a minute, though. I'm going to get something to drink. But this is my um, newest sketchbook. Working with uh, mostly mostly just uh, ballpoint pen, and um, if there's any color, it's with uh, Crayola Super Tips. <clears throat> Hi Anastasia, hope you're doing well. Hi Melinda, thank. Oh, you're welcome. A cow sketch. Yeah, Prisma wanted a cow. Okay, so do we have a kind of certain kind of cow? What kind of cow do we want? A Jersey cow. What kind of cow do you want? <laughs> a cow a face? A face? Cow face? Let me look up a cow face first. We can do a full body. We can do, yeah. All right. So this is the book that I'm working in currently. Um, not a lot in it yet. Some octopus. And I like to do studies. So like I got the eye and the tentacles and the suckers. You know, I like doing studies. You know, all right, let me see. Let's do a Jersey cow. I'll start with a face. A water buffalo. Uh, okay, so let me see. Let me find some images here. Hmm. Jersey cow. All right, the Jersey cow is not black and white. They're all brown. They all have brown faces. So which one has the black and white? The Scottish cow, is that, which one has got the black and white? Well, I'll just put in black and white cow. <laughs> Find it. <laughs> okay, so what are those? What kind, oh, here, what is a black and white cow called? Holstein. They're Holsteins. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Jean said it. Holstein. Okay, uh, let's go some images here. All right. So I got a bunch of them. Look at this one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's too funny. <laughs> let's just get a straight on. You know, I want to just, you know, I just want to do some studies. Okay, well, let me finish flipping through here. Here's some lemur studies. <laughs> and again, the colors are just um, Crayola Super Tips. Okay, some bunnies. And I, again, I've been practicing my lettering with uh, different, um, you know, Fude and the uh, uh, zebra pens. some doors now this one's color pencil that's the only one that's color pencil in here everything else is uh is done with just a um big pen and uh super tips then we did the yorkshire this was all about you town there's some pterodactyl sketches see how sketchy they are <laughs> Hi, Iffy. I always, I always forget it's you, Iffy, when you put your name. When you put uh, Sherry Ann, I always forget it's you. But it's Iffy. All right, let me find a cute little cow face. Oh, right, here's one. Okay, I, I, I like this one. There's a little cow face there. 
<laughs> and again, I just want to do some studies. My flying turtles, I want, instead of undersea, they're going to be like in space. <clears throat> so <clears throat> just some um, sketches of that. And then these are my little five-second sketches. And I've shown you all those before where you just, you know, just do some little ovals and do your lines and have them looking at whatever way you want them to look. I see. I'm going to have to zoom in and then just do um, real quick, you know, just do real quick little, um, little sketches. Oh, I don't know. Vonnie's watching. Vonnie just messaged me and said, thank you for the card. So Vonnie, if you're watching, you're welcome. Okay, so we'll zoom in. All right, so here we go. So we got a big piece of paint left in there. Let's just kind of go with this. Let's see how we can uh, work this so it shows up. Uh, all right, so I'm just going to play around with this. Let's uh, Maybe we need to zoom in and brighten it up just a little. Let's see here. Uh -oh. Brighten it up. And that'll probably work okay once I get in. See how it makes your hand weird colors when you change the lighting. But to make it show up good. All right. So I'm just going to, and what I do when I do these sketches, I, I don't really overthink them. Okay. I'm not trying to overthink them. I just want to, um, you know, and, and just start real lightly. I mean, just, again, I don't know how well this is going to show up. I think I've tried to do this before. And just start getting your shapes in there. <clears throat> it's got this fat like lip thing going on here. These little horns. And it's it's they're sketching, guys. You're you know, you're supposed to. It's not supposed to be necessarily a, a, a finished drawing. You can, you know, some the octopus one I did more time on. But, you know, just practice getting your shapes and very lightly. If you do it with a pen, you, you won't be trying to get it so perfect. you got to erase it. If you just draw lightly, draw very light, and then you can uh, darken it up. And then you're not so um, trying to be so perfect. Okay, and they have huge ears like this. And let's see. Let's get his little nostrils in here. He's got it, the black spots on his face. And I'll, I'll get in here with a thicker pen to like fix, you know, fix in some black spot areas. And then his back's coming over there. And he does actually look like he's kind of smiling, or she. I don't know if it's a he, he or she. But, you know, if you have a sketchbook, and especially like if you're watching TV, if you're, uh, you know, watching some show or something, you know, you can just be kind of doing this kind of stuff. Be doing this kind of stuff. He's got a big black spot under his chin there. <laughs> See, it's fun. It's fun. Okay, now I'm going to take a, a my zebra, okay, which is, um, this is like what I've been practicing. This and the food A is what I've been practicing. Let me, like, I'll just write. Thick and thin lines, you know, just practicing my lettering, practicing my lettering as I do this. Hi, Lady Jan. Okay, so now I'm going to... <clears throat> now you can pick out your more um, the lines you really like and just leave your sketchy lines alone you know this might need to be a little fatter 
And because it's black and white, I'll get out a, uh, what do you call it, a, a black uh, super tip. So I don't just use this up. I can just use a black super tip if I can find one. There we go. I think erasing is better. <laughs> well, you do what you got to do. It's just good practice, this. It's got solid black ears. And these shouldn't go through, I don't think. Yeah, the super tips are pretty good about not bleeding through. And we'll do a couple little bodies. You know, just use the whole page to practice, you know, little studies. You can do the eyeball, you can do the horns you could do you know whatever and then his body is all light up too so he how do you make things so wispy very just a very light very light touch just Pick one up and, and, and see what I'm talking about. Pick one up. <laughs> oh, let's give them a little bit better, bigger eye pupils. There we go. <laughs> but if you pick one up and just very lightly, I mean, look how light you can scribble. You can go there very dark, very light. Yeah, you just are how, how the best way to practice, and this is true with color pencil. This is true with color pencil or with um, pen or anything. Hold your pen way back. It's harder to put pressure when you're holding it way back. Hold it way back, way back. And it's and it's hard to put pressure. I mean, you can do it, but you'll you'll be aware of it. Whereas if you hold it way in the back, you can, you know, get those nice little wispy lines and you can start doing shading if you want, you know. Try to do sketches like, try not to pick up your pen. Try to do the whole thing without picking it up to you, until you add extra dark. I mean, you're going to add other pen. It, this just saves your pen if you want solid blacks in anywhere, you know. So, you know, that's that's all I'm going to do with that one. He really has a little fatter nose. I mean, in, in real life, his nose is a little bit wider. But, you know, just draw a new one. Draw another nose. Let's, uh, <laughs> okay. Take a look at the oriental short hair cat with the huge, yeah, I've seen those. The hairless ones? Are you talking about they're almost hairless, Anastasia? All right, let's do, let's just find, uh, let's just find a couple of bodies, you know, let's just do a, you know, just a little sketch of a cow body. 
just a little study. You know, I'm just, I'm not trying to do a portrait here. Uh, you, you're practicing your, your skills. You're practicing your, um, Just keep keep sketching at it till you get it how you how you want it. There's a big udder there. Can't really see the tail very much back there. A couple of legs. So if you if ask Laura, she does out. You go outdoors and you try to draw a moving cow. You're 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 not going to be too picky. You're going to just try to get get it as <laughs> you can quick because that cow's going to walk away. This one happens to be sitting staring at me, but um, <laughs> you know when they're moving, you just have to try to grab as much detail as you can. And if y'all remember, and I'll, I need to pull that sketchbook out again to show you. This was you know I don't know twenty well maybe fifteen years ago. Uh, I did a bunch of drawings from, um, a, uh, uh, what was it called again? Um, it was on a TV show. And they would do, um, I'll pull it out in a minute because I got it written down. And I did those in pencil, though. I did all those in pencil. But I still didn't erase, but it's still. It came in late. What's the name of the pen? A big pen. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a big, big biro, you know, if they call it in the UK or overseas, but it's just a big ballpoint crystal, big crystal. Okay. That's what I'm using to uh, do the initial sketching. And then I'll go in here with uh, just something like a flare, something that's just a little thicker. Okay. And then do some more, a darker detail. And if I want to color something in really big, I'm using uh, my um, super tips. Super tips. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to come in here and just kind of add a little bit more detail here. Can't even really see his eyes or anything. Maybe a little bit dark over there. And then it's got spots, you know. Again, I'll color that in with the super tip. Maybe another one over here. I'm not trying to replicate these spots because I don't really care if they're exactly. The, I'm just doing studies. I'm not trying to do a portrait of a, an exact a certain cow with his certain spots. And then there's the udder right here. <laughs> it's in the weeds. A little bit of spot there, spot there. And then I'll take my super tip for the solid black so I'm not wasting a bunch of nice pen ink. And they're just supposed to be studies. Again, you know, a couple of things like the um, octopus that I did, I spent more time on, but you know, just like that. I'll pull out my pencil ones in a minute. So, like, you know, let me go back to this. These I spent more time on because I really wanted to get the details of those suckers, his eye. You know, I spent more time. I spent more time on this one. But, but like these, they're very quick. Very, you know, there's not a lot of you know, overthinking. And again, the thicker parts here, you know, use, use a, you know, um, a super tip so you can get in there with thicker black and you're not wasting, you're not wasting a zebra, you know. 
<clears throat> some bunnies. And then here's some little color. This is all super tips. I just wanted to see what kind of color combinations I wanted. Some of these. That cow needs to be milked, Tiffany. Yeah. <laughs> Some pterodactyls. And these literally guys were like 15 seconds. You know, they're just, you you just take find something you want to draw and just do it as quick as you can. Look how sketchy and messy it is. Just get your main lines. And imagine if a pterodactyl is flying over your head and you don't have your cell phone to take a picture of it. You're going to have to draw that baby quick. <laughs> Uh, oh, and then some broccoli trees and then my uh again these are very quick some flying turtles <laughs> uh, <laughs> well Dan, uh, danny you just have to go light hold your pin way back hold your pin way back and you can't be don't be a fearing <laughs> it doesn't turn out, you, you know, who cares? You just do it in your sketchbook. And the more you do, the more you're going to, you'll, you'll do more, but do them better, you know? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's go find another uh, cow part. Oh, I know what, I know what I'll do. And I did do this in my uh, uh, pencil sketch. Uh, hang on. Let me show you. <laughs> hang on. Okay, wait, wait, wait for it. <laughs> we'll do another little, we'll do another little sketch down here. Here we go. All right. So now imagine. Okay, we're just going to do another little cow part here. <laughs> All right. So here we got, um, if y'all remember, or if some of y'all follow um, Terry Trouble, she went to the fair. She took pictures of, of pig butts. Pig butts are so cute. I love pig butts. <laughs> she drew pictures. I mean, she photographed pig butts. So I'm going to just sit here and draw a cow butt. Okay, so here's his tail here. <laughs> I'll get my other where'd it go here it is so I'm going to draw a cow butt Yes, it's a cow butt, Prisma. <laughs> little tail here with the little, you know. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what are the parts of the cow. <laughs> Do we want? <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyway. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me just pick another random cow here. Let's see. Um. <laughs> a cowbell. Yeah, you could. I mean, you could, there's lots of things you could do, right? Well, real quick, before I'll draw some more. We'll pick. We'll pick some more animals to do with um, with uh, ink. But I'll show you if I can get to it here. It's behind some books. Um, I did these years ago, and these are all with pencil. So they're going to be a little smeary and a little old. Is this the right book? Yeah, here it is. Okay. So this is a big black sketchbook, one of these, you know, kind here. Like this. Maybe I need to zoom back out one here. Okay. And these were, let me try to find... 
Let me try to find the name of the show. Sunrise Earth. Okay, these are from Sunrise Earth. I've shown this, but it's been a while. And what I would do, it was a TV, it was on TV. And I think you can find some of them on YouTube, but these were 30 minute long. Okay. And these are from 2009. So these are 10 years ago. So what it was is Sunrise Earth would start with a far, far away picture of a sunrise in different parts of the world. And then they would zoom in closer and closer and closer on different parts of the scene, okay? Until you were like, could be up on top of a flower. But they start very far away. All right, so let me show you this one, friends. And they're all in pencil, so they may be a little hard to see. Um, so, for instance, this is how it started off. This was the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. And they start off very far away. This is what it started out. Then it got a little closer. And then it got a little closer. And pretty soon you're underwater. Okay. And now this is, it is. These, this is all moving. All, it, it's, it's moving nature. The sunrise is coming up. The birds are flying. The fish are swimming. Everything's moving. So you got to do it quick. So what I did with these is I would write pencil note color sketches or whatever sketches I wanted to do. And again, these are from 2009. Drawing moving scenes from Sunrise Earth on HD Theater. That was the name of the channel. Discovery. Discovery Channel. And again, this was in 2009, beginning of 2009. So it's probably almost 10 years ago. Okay. All right, so for instance, right here, sitting in trees on beach, the, the heron here, this heron, eastern reef egret. Now, what they would do, the other thing that they would do is while they're showing you this, they would, uh, in, in words at the bottom, tell you what animal. Uh, the eastern reef egret. I would not have known that just by looking at it, by looking at the egret. So I would write it down. So I would write down any notes that they would tell me, all right, any notes. And see, look, look at these quick little sketches. Look, I might just get an eyeball. You might just get a beak. It's all very, you grab it while you can. Now, if I was going to do this now, if I was going to do uh, the Sunrise Earth today, I would do it in ink. I would do it in ink. But at the time, I was just doing it in pencil, <laughs> right? And so, like, here's a white tip shark on the bottom. Returns to the same cave. See how quick and messy most of it is? There's a turtle that was swimming through. And it's, this is all the coral reef ecosystem, rarely deeper than 100 feet. See, I'd write all that stuff down, right? Now, you can probably find, if not Sunrise Earth, you can probably find something similar on YouTube. Uh, you know, moving nature scenes or something like that. It was all, it was all very ASMR. Nobody was talking. They, they, you heard the sounds of the water. You heard the sounds of wind. You heard the sounds of the birds walking on the sand. There was no, nobody talked. It's very chill. And I loved it. I loved it. Okay, so let me show you a few more. Okay, so this one was in Hawaii. Kala, Kalahuka, Kala, H-A-K-U, Overlook. All right, so here it is. This is the picture you'd start out with. You just see the sunrise coming over the mountains. Volcano in the distance through the clouds. See, I wrote all that down. I don't know if this is interesting, but I love it. <laughs> I love this book. Um, morning clouds look like an ocean of clouds seen from above. Jagged hills. See, I, these are my own notes here. Jagged hills silhouetted black against the rising sun. Dark jagged rocks. Lava flows. Cone. Okay, so there was. I think there was actually lava there. Here's some of the little crater hills inside the valley. Some are all dirt looking. 
Some areas of these have green plants covering them, probably some kind of moss, some kind of moss. Uh, vernal grasses, non-native. Now, that would have been something that they would have said. Um, okay, so this is in Maui, 10,000 feet above the Pacific Ocean. Uh, let's see here. Bushes of small leaves, Indian red with light green. So I'm trying to get the color, like Indian red color. It wasn't red. It was, you know, like a more of an ochre color. I mean, a uh, sienna color. Dirt areas, burnt sienna in color. Tiny plants, mossy areas, olive and lime colors. Lime green plant, succulent looking, succulent looking on, on the pine stalk. Then here's another birdlet. This was a chukar partridge. Red outlined eye and beak. Lots of feather layers. Chicken type feet. You see, so that's how you sketch. <laughs> okay, then this one was Society Island, French Polynesia. And again, it starts out with the sunrise way off, and then it starts zooming in. So then pretty soon they were zoomed up on a crab. So you might only have time to draw a couple of crab legs. <laughs> so, yeah, so these are all just little notes, little running crabs on the beach. The wind was blowing. This egret was purple with yellow legs, yellow eyes, and an orange beak. So that was that day. So I spent 30 minutes on that. Um, this one was uh, New Zealand frost. Okay, so this was all white. This was all like the Arctic. Oh, YouTube's being a PETA. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Make sure. And um, I can't see anything wrong on my end. It's a pain because I don't see anything wrong. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to do about it. You know, if YouTube glitches, just make sure and go into your wheel settings. Go into your wheel settings and try to get back. Um, I can't do anything about it, Tiffany. It's not It's not anything I can do. Yeah. Sorry, guys. It's YouTube. You know, it, it happened to me yet on Monday and Janet as well. Yeah, I know it's not me, uh, Julie Topaz, but, you know. Uh, yeah, what can I say? All right, I'm gonna keep rolling. If it's bad, we'll show it another. We'll show it another day. Okay. So anyway, this was all Arctic, New Zealand frost. It was all glacial. It was gla glacial lake. And so, um, yeah, just uh, different times of it. This one was um, the Venetian canals, and you were on a like a gondola in the in. You were like in the boat. And the boat was going down the canals and you could see all the different little walls and the windows. And this is everything that you would see. You were going under bridges. You know, they filmed it. They filmed it as if you were in the boat, right? Going under different bridges, the ironworks. Um, yeah. Here's some more of the Venetian Canal continued light fixtures there were little pigeons on the on the uh ledges and i wrote all the notes of the colors and everything but here's different boats that you saw along the way it's just real quick little sketches and i say quick i mean like five seconds you're drawing a boat because you move past it it's all moving it's all moving this was the japanese gardens and uh it kind of start far away and then you zoom up on the different, there's a bridge with some people up on the bridge and then it show the water close up of the rocks and the koi fish here. Yeah. It's like urban sketching, but on TV. Exactly. <laughs> and here's some more Japanese gardens continued. Here's some of the great blue heron. And again, you have to draw quick. If you want to capture anything, because it's all moving, you know, they, the camera may be on a pagoda in one second, five seconds later, it's over here on these plants or over here on these irises. It's always moving. Okay, then let's see. This one was in the um, 
uh, Arches pa National Park in Moab, Utah. So again, you start way back here. Okay, so this is what you see at the beginning. And the sunrise is coming up over the mountains. Then it comes a little closer. And then you see this much. Then you come a little closer and you're seeing this. So it's different at different perspectives. Yeah. So then I would just write little notes about the different plants or the different whatever, you know, that you could see. There's a cloud, some birds. Okay. Then this one was another one. This was in Norway. Norway. All, again, all ice covered. All ice. This boat was out in the middle of an of a iced lake. Just that boat out in the middle of an iced lake. Um, this one was Vancouver, um, Vancouver Island, British Columbia. Where's Jan? Is Jan still here? <laughs> okay. So, again, this was, I did this one in March 2009. So, it started off way over here in the island. You could see this. And you saw a little boat go by. And then there were harbor seals. So, little harbor seal heads. Then there was this other bird there. And then the kelp, it showed the bull kelp. And then different uh, birds, eagles in the treetops. So. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks, CB. I'm, I know YouTube's being a pain. I don't know. I don't know what to do about it, guys. Sorry. Um. Okay, so then these were um, the um, Baxter State Park in Maine, and there was a time where they showed the moose close up and far away. So again, just like I was doing those cows, well, look, this is all I could capture. Capture the moose going through the, they're swimming, swimming through the water, and all you'd see is their heads through the water. So just real quick little sketches there. There's a there's a moose butt. Moose butt. <laughs> okay, let's see. This one was Yellowstone geysers. So this didn't do, they didn't do a lot on this one. They just kind of went back and forth to the geysers. Then we were at Yellowstone. Here's the bison. This one was called Bison Before Breakfast. That was, that was the name of this show, Bison Before Breakfast. This was in March 2009. And I wrote some notes down. They can live 20 years. Their calves weigh 30 to 70 pounds at birth and can travel within three hours of their birth. Within three hours. Adult females can have a calf every two years. Okay, then this one was in another uh, place, a Great Salt Bay, Maine. And the different, this was some different geese. This was looking down into a river and you saw a school of fish. Uh, this again, this one was in Florida, Crystal River, Preserve State Park. And then this one was, this is part of this. This was Billings Farm in Woodstock, Vermont. So these are part, I, I just did more pages of them. So he, somebody was asking about drawing horse sketches or horse studies. So here's some of the horse studies that I did. Um, Danny, it was called Sunrise Earth. Sunrise Earth. And I, they don't show it on TV anymore. And the ones, they show clips on YouTube, but I've not been able to find the 30-minute full videos. These were like 30 minutes videos. And then here's some cows. There's a cow butt. See, I told y'all I drew some cow butts before. <laughs> An eye and, you know, just some different... Then this was on uh, San Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge. And there were people out here doing Tai Chi. So I just kind of do some stick figures of these people doing Tai Chi. They were on a hill. This hill was overlooking the bridge. So I just drew some 
you know, stick figures doing Tai Chi. And then some more. What was this one? This was another, this was in Alaska. The herons and then the, the bears. So this was uh, in Alaska, um, Halo Bay. And the bears were just waking up. This one was laying down, just waking up, coming out of hibernation. Yes, yeah, armchair travel, and you draw. Yeah, <laughs> and this, guys, I'm telling you, you can find this kind of stuff on YouTube. It doesn't have to be Sunrise Earth. You can find, you know, just just put in, you know, in YouTube, you know, travel, ASMR. I don't know. You you can find it. Find something similar. Again, this is Cook Inlet in Alaska. Started way off here, and you got closer and closer and closer. And then here's some harbor seals. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> this one was in Cambodia. Those um, palaces, those uh, abandoned those are there and then this was just a, something we did uh somebody wanted a squirrel we did that now we just practice some letters lettering and other things but that was my sunrise earth book from 2009 so anyway this is kind of the same thing except i'm not having to they're not moving <laughs> so if you just joined us we just started we drew some cows and uh this is my book I'm working in now. I'll do another quick little flip real quick. So they're studies. They're just studies. And again, these are all in a big pen. A big pen with a zebra pen, just a little bit thicker to add a little bit dark areas. And then if I want to fill in large areas, I'm just using a super tip. And the same thing for all the color. The color is just super Crayola super tip markers. Just, you know, and they're water-based, so you can get them wet if you want. Um, but they're quick sketches. Other than this, this was a project we did. Um, uh, one of the... Uh, uh, oh. We followed along in a, tut in a tutorial out of one of the color book. Um, oh, I don't have it right here in front of me. <clears throat> Hi from Sweden, Tina. Same thing for the bees. And then this we did a show on uh, uh, Yorkshire. And we tried to find things that were Yorkshire-ish. Yorkshire-ish? Yorkshire -ish? Yeah, Helen Elliston. Thank you, Michelle. That, that was a Helen Elliston follow tutorial thing that we did. Yeah. Um, and then some flying turtles. Some five-second faces. Where'd my pterodactyls go? Did I, oh, did I pass up my pterodactyls? Where'd my pterodactyls go? Oh, there's some pterodactyls. And again, they're real quick because, you know, they're flying by real quick. You only you only got a couple of seconds to draw a, ter a pterodactyl. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, anyway. All right. So then we just did a cow. So what do you, let's do it. Let's do one more animal before we go. <laughs> Anybody? Bueller, Bueller. What do you want to, what, what should we draw? <laughs> and sorry again, guys, if YouTube is being glitchy. I, I don't know what to tell you. All I can tell you is make sure that you click the little live button, the red dot, make sure you're caught up, and make sure the setting wheel is at 720 or 1080p, one or the other. I do so many on a sloth, a pig, elephant. Keep going. I'll find something I want to do. <laughs> Some of these I've done a lot of times, guys. Like sloths and lemurs. I've done llamas. I've done ladybugs. I've done roosters, but I, you know, I'll do a rooster. Let's do a rooster. Let's go with rooster. Because I can add a little color. I can add a little color to, his, to that. All right, let's just go over here on this side. Okay, rooster images. Let's see. Let's find one that has, a, you know, some uh, colorful tail or something. All right, so, well, let's start with the head. Let's start with, um, 
Let's start with the comb. Is it the comb? All right, here. Let's start with the face. We'll start with a rooster face. Oh, come on. Come on. All right, let me just take a picture of it. It'll last longer. <laughs> let me find a couple pit. Oh, this one's a good one here. Um, let, me, let me just grab a couple. Let's see. Mm, hang on. I want a couple faces, maybe some rooster feet. Um, mm, there's one running. I just want some different positions. You know, some different positions. Hi, Mary. Oh, you're not invisible, Mary. I see you. Somebody tell Mary that we see her. <laughs> I see you, Mary. I see you, Mary. <laughs> I told y'all about the behind the door. <laughs> I put a poster up of um, Mona Lisa on my door. Right there on my door. On the cloak with the door closed. And then I looked up and I saw somebody standing in my door and it freaked me out. <laughs> it did. It freaked me out. Okay, let's draw, let's do a let's do a rooster face here. Let's do a let's start, let's start with the face. Start up here and, and do a all right. So again, I'll hold my pin way back, right? So there's there's no hard pressure. So I just want to start by getting the shapes in. Okay, we got this beat coming here. Like little, little jowls and things. And the comb and the what it what's the what's the wall is it the waddle? What is that part under the neck? Is it a waddle? We can start adding more detail. And ballpoint pens can get a little juicy on the end, so you want to have a Kleenex or some area to kind of wipe it off because it starts getting a little juicy and beating up, you know. A waddle? Yeah, okay. Feathers in there. We'll draw some more details around the eyes. Okay, now I'm going to go in here with my zebra and add some areas where there might be some shadows or some darker areas, like right under the... <clears throat> you still with the tour how's youtube is it is it how we doing is it letting us uh is it letting you see
picture's good. It's clear right now. Okay. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> so something like that. And then if you want to add color, although he's not really red, he's more pink. He's more, he's not in little color bits. Here, let's do a. So he's like that color, but with white uh, water in it. It's very. This is too dark, too brown. But red is going to be. That's going to be the closest I can get. Actually, it's going to be those two colors combined, really. Those two colors combined, but light. So, yeah. I'm never brave enough to draw the pen. Well, start, CB. Try. Try it, CB. I'm just going to add a little uh, color here. I don't want to add because it's, it's not the exact color I want. But I can just so that you know that it's. And also, it's very, um, might even add some um, texture to it if you want. You know, just so you know that it's all very textured. Um, just to indicate the texture. I don't know. And so this part's red right above his beak. This part's red around his eye. Again, it's really not red. It's more of a pinky red. Let's come in here. Texture, textury. Go in there with a little darker. You see? But if you can find something on YouTube where it's moving, try to do that. Try to find something where it's moving. then you have to be quick. CB. CB. Bye, Devin. I mean, CB. I'm just going to fuss at CB. You're sitting at home by yourself. No one can see what you're doing. Why don't you pick up a pin? Try. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Girl. <laughs> Oh my gosh, CB, you cracked me up. <laughs> you cracked me up. Did she leave? <laughs> what did CB say? No, oh yeah, but try, try it. And then just some um, super tip Crayola super tips. I think this one's almost. Throw that one away. That one's kind of toast. There we go. That's the color. I want to draw a, a couple of sketches with um, the whole body, you know. 
Okay, that's, there's a quick one there. I've been crack a <laughs> All right, so let's get my pen back. I'm just using it, like, again, going back to my Bic. Let's just find a full-on, um, full rooster body here. I'm too close. I'm not going to have enough room for his tail over here. He needs to be over here to have room because his, uh, his tail is going to go off the page there because he's quite... They're quite big, and their little heads are really little. Okay, get a little chicken in there, a little rooster. Now I'll go in with my zebra and add a little bit of areas that might have some. Very, that's very, that's even kind of big. Their heads are very little. That's even too, almost too big there. Those feathers will be going off the page. <clears throat> Something like that. Hi, Gilly. I'm sure I'm missing people. Petal. Oh, I said hi earlier. Yeah. Hi, Gilly. Thanks, everybody, for the thumbs up. Okay, so in this case, like, we want to indicate, you know, a little bit of red here and here. A little bit around the eye like that. There's a little bit of red in here. Then I need, I don't have a really a pain's, well, this is quite close enough. Let's see. That's a little too, um, it's a little too blue, but it, it'll do the point there. These uh, tail feathers are kind of this blue color, and they're up underneath there. There's a little bit in here, up in here. And I think the same the color. There, there's my rooster. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Deborah. All right, let's see. Let's do one more rooster pose. What else can we do? Let me go back to Let's go back here. Let's see. One more rooster pose. Maybe kind of front facing. Let me write in rooster. Mm. Front face. I don't know if that'll help, but we're gonna try a rooster butt. <laughs> oh no, I don't want videos on my images. Let's see. All right, let's get back to my. Let's do one down here. Let's see. Ah, oh, here we go. One looking right at you. Right at you. Atcha, achu. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so fun, y'all! Y'all, you, you don't know what you're missing if you don't do this. 
seriously. Okay, it's very fluffy on the sides here. Okay, I'm gonna do that and then. All right, there's a start. <laughs> a rooster butt. I love you guys. You're so fun. <laughs> Hi, Christine. We're just doing some sketching here. We've been here being a little bit of glitchy today, so. Okay, let's see. Let's put a little bit of beak. A little bit of the sienna feathers are kind of coming out around their face, I can hear. There we go. Here's our little rooster kind of looking at you. Let's get a pasta here. Let's get him a little highlight in his eye. He looks angry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we got some little. I should put a little bit of maybe a little bit of you know color in his eye there. Just a little. And then there's our cows and our cow butt. You know what? One more before we go. Are y'all are y'all you know ready to get ready to beat feet as we say? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Things going all right. So let's see. Lambs. Lamb. All right, let's see here. Oh, little baby lambs. Oh, and lots of lamb chops. <laughs> uh, all right, we won't, we won't, we won't do any lamb chops. Okay, let's um, let's see here. Let's move all this stuff back over here. All right, let's just draw a little. Let's draw a little baby lamb here.
drawing it little so I have room for other bigger things. You know, like a, if I do a face or something. Right now I'm trying to draw the whole body. Remember, guys, we're supposed to be drawing sketches, not portraits here. I don't see his little tail in this one. <clears throat> I'm not even sure what a lamb's little tail looks like. I have to look one up. I think they just kind of look like that. But in this case, his tail's kind of like back behind him, so. You just want to get essence of essence of animal <laughs> and then little little lamb fur it's a little skinny one a little on the skinny side All right, let's see. Get some shading in here. Let's give them a little bit more beefiness. Not too much, though, because it's kind of thin. I mean, it's young. There we go. All right, let's find a let's find a better picture. Let's find a face. Oh, these two are cute, standing. Oh, that one's cute. That one's kind of cute, looking right at you. I kind of want to draw some, like a whole bunch of them in a like a herd. Are they a herd? A couple of them. Let's draw a couple. This one. These are from the back. Okay, here we go. Just sketching them in here. Got these little cheeks like things here. They're kind of this one's kind of like a little heftier. There's a little tail in there. Kind of 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Use caps if you're talking to me. I'm kind of, I don't say I'm ignoring you, but <laughs> I'm kind of like not watching a lot of chat because I'm trying to just do some drawing here. All right. Let's see. Let's go with the. I'm just drawing like a little, little herd of them. They're very, they're very wrinkly. They're wooly, but they're kind of wrinkly too. I'm trying to kind of get that wool effect. I'm trying to kind of pick up like the fuzziness of the wool. It's kind of tricky on that wool. This is the back of their little feet there. It's the back of the ear. Underneath of them there. There's some little quick, little quick, um, distant, distant ones. Let's see if I can find a face. Let's find a face. We'll do one, we'll do one quick little face. Let's see. Um, oh, this one's cute. All right, we'll go with this. Draw a face down in here. Are we still with the tour? Bye, bye, Mary. Thanks for stopping in. Y'all don't forget to uh, go check out Mary channel. And I need to add Mary to my list of in my book. I'm gonna add you to my in my book, Mary. I'm add some pink in that ear there. There's a cap. Here it is. Well, let's let's go with the. Bit of uh, blue. oh, I, I've been trying to put the colors down here that I've been using, and I forget to do that. Let's see this color. All right, now let's go with. Uh, I need a little bit of little light gray Let's put a little shadow here.
little lamb noses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very cute. Wooly, wooly, wooly. Okay, well, there's a little lamb. His fleece was white as snow. <laughs> a quick little lamb. Hi, Norma. <clears throat> Probably shouldn't be quite as, oh, you know what? Let me test something out. I thought these white out things. Let's test this out. I should, not the, I should just do it with uh, a Posca, but I want to see something. Let's see if these work. It's white out pins. White out, mm, it's kind of flaky. <laughs> it's flaking. I was just trying to get down in that little face. I, th I bought them for like, you know, when you're riding. But I thought, well, you know, it's sitting right there. Let's test it out. But, eh. Let's go with the Posca. I want to make his face a little fatter right there. There we go. A little fatter right in there. That's better. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head out. Um, I'll show you real quick. We'll do another little flip of the what I have in this sketchbook so far. And I hope that y'all got some ideas for doing some um, of the collage altered book. Oh, thanks, guys. All right, so let's go back. Let's see. So octopus. Lemurs. Bunnies. Doors. Bees. Yorkshire and pterodactyls. I could add some color. It's pterodactyls. Add some. Pterodactyl ish colors. Okay. Um. <laughs> Tulip windmill thing, broccoli flowers, flying turtles, five second faces, the rooster. Oh, oh wait, oh, you know what I did forget? I gotta write the I gotta practice my um lettering. Roosters. You're, thanks, Seely. Cow up there. <clears throat> and little baby lambs. So I hope you all had fun. Thanks for all the thumbs up, guys. And we'll see you later. I'm going to try to do maybe a, some videos over the weekend with Hubster. Some, I said that last weekend. But we didn't get to it last weekend. Clean these brushes. Um, some book videos. So if I do a couple of book videos, pop in and watch them. They won't be live. So, all right, guys. Thanks, Janet. All right, guys. Y'all have a great day. Happy hump day. Ha, ha, ha.